gonna die of old age here. It's building the suspense. Right, today uh, I'll be testing three of these 900 megahertz Athlons, uh, original Athlons, not XPs. Uh, I've got my 1200 megahertz one there, which I've originally. Um, two there, and one currently in the motherboard. I'm going to be using the uh, larger of my two stock heat sinks, which I have for this socket. I'll be using some uh, bog standard, pretty rubbish uh, ceramic based thermal paste because I'm just testing if they work. Might do a bit of overclocking but probably won't get very far on this heat sink. Um, got my usual test set up for 462. Uh, two sticks of 128 megabytes single sided RAM. Got my uh, NVIDIA MX400 uh, Be quiet, 650 watt power supply Very nice Acer monitor 4x3 uh, And a MacStore 30 gigabyte hard drive And obviously a keyboard and mouse So I'm going to mount the heatsink now On the processor um, And then we'll see if she works so I'm going to put this heat sink here on that 900 megahertz Athlon over there. Got my thermal paste here. Some really weird scissors. The handles are like giant and the blade's really small. But oh well. Now with these CPUs having a very small die area, as you can see on this one here, when it focuses, um, you don't have to put very much thermal paste on them at all. So you have to be very careful. You can't put like a pea size amount like you normally would. You have to put a very small amount on. It doesn't really matter if you put too much on. With this being non-conductive you can see how much I've put on there. Probably a little bit too much. But it doesn't really matter that much to be fair. It's not going to be the end of the world if you put a bit too much on, is it? Right. Next I'm going to stick the heat sink on. These are a bit tricky to get on. This the clips on them aren't very big unfortunately. I'm gonna get a screwdriver or something to push the other side down. All these pliers might do. There we go. Got that done. Yeah. <coughs> find a fan for it. I'll use this Scythe 100mm fan here. That will do. I'm just gonna dump it on top of there with some blue tack, if I can find some blue tack. the fan into the CPU fan header obviously right then well now see if she boots up now if you're interested in my camera rig that I was using to get that amazing shot just then here it is as you can see, it's a chair balanced on top of a chair with an optical drive in there. 
which is brilliant. Before it falls over onto everything, I'm going to move it out of the way. Now I've got the uh, VGA cable plugged in. Got my mouse and my keyboard plugged in. I'm being a bit ambitious today and using a USB mouse. Right then, I'll get turn the power supply on. That'll help. Let's see if it'll fire up. Now I've got all my dip switches at a uh, stock as well, but it might have the settings that I was using in the BIOS last time. So we will see. There she goes. That's good. It's the monitor. Hopefully it might boot up soon. You can hear the hard drive. CPU fan is spinning. Oh dear. Does not seem to be turning on. Uh. Whoops. Right then. Uh, I've had to change the RAM. For some reason, this CPU won't boot up um, with the two single sided sticks in, which is very strange. Uh, as you can see, we're sitting at 37 degrees Celsius. Alright, we're just going to boot into Windows. I've changed monitors as well because I thought it might be the graphics card or monitor at one point. There we go, booting up. It's widescreen now. It's this high tech stuff. There's the uh, various app ones. I've tried a couple of them now. I've tried that one there, but that didn't work. I tried a, a couple of them to see if it was a processor. But I'll have to put this piece of uh, double sided memory in. <sighs> Taking its time to boot up. Mouse doesn't work. This is a USB mouse. That's nice. <laughs> that took the uh, CMOS battery out as well. A bit annoying. Very welcoming, welcoming is this computer. Takes ages to boot up. Hooray! We're in at last. Oops. Now still doesn't work, which is good. Might have to get a PS2 mouse, like I was using last time, but someone's nicked it. Hopefully it will install the drivers for the mouse or something. It's saying that my computer is at risk because there's no antivirus installed. What a shame. It's going to be very at risk to viruses when it doesn't have an ethernet port on it. <laughs> right, the mouse isn't working at all, which is great. So I'm going to have to do this the old fashioned way on the keyboard. Press start, go up to the CPU Z, open that. Definitely needs overclocking, does this chip? 900 megahertz, fair bit slower, 33% slower than the 1200 megahertz one was at stock. Oh, it's done it at last. There we go. We're in. Athlon, Thunderbird, 900 megahertz, 100 megahertz bus speed. Amazing. That one works. Right, this is now the second CPU in, and it's booting up this time into the BIOS for some reason. Probably press something somewhere. Go away. 
believe. Actually, I'll try this one with a bit of a base clock. Why not? Look at that, 105. That's ambitious. Might not take as long to boot up this time. Yeah, probably spoke too soon there. It's taken ages to boot up. Again. Right, now we are in Windows, as you can see, there are all the icons, it's in 1080p, and I've still not got another mouse, so the mouse still does not work, which is very, very annoying. Okay, start CPU-Z, which takes ages, as we know, although actually this one, it's an extra 5 megahertz on that front side bus. So it should be rapid compared to the last one. It's a 5% overclock, believe it or not. 105. Wow. I'm gonna die of old age here. I think it's just this slow because it's it's building the suspense. That's all it is. It's building the suspense. There we go. Oh look at that. Rapid 945 megahertz. That's ace. That one works as well. Might even go on some different tabs this time. Look at that, 256 kilobytes of level 2 cache. Wow. Memory running quite slow. This is my uh, rubbish RAM. Look at that. October 2014 needs updating, does that. Right then. Hopefully, on this last one that I've got to do, I'll remember to plug in the mouse. Now, the final CPU that I've got to do, which is this one, will not go into the socket straight away. Uh, let me just have a look which way it goes, there we go, zero in fit insertion force socket and it, as you can see it's not in there. So to fix this you have a look at the bottom of the CPU, check none of the pins are bent which I've already done, they're not particularly bent, there's a couple that are a little bit bent and all you do is put your processor in your socket, push down, a bit of insertion force Go straight in, put your lever down, that'll straighten your pins back out for you, hopefully. <laughs> if it doesn't, it's not going to go well. I'll show you how much thermal paste to put on, even though I always put too much on. With these stupid little dies, that'll do. Yeah, yeah that'll be plenty. <sighs> that much will do. And you just put your heatsink on the top, like this, which is trickier to do with one hand after something. Put that on there, move it across so that it's hooked underneath. And at this side here, there we go, I'll focus that. And the other side here, I'll just push this down with the pliers and try not to smack the board. There we go, that's clicked on. Excellent. Then all I do is just uh, dump the fan on top. I haven't bothered with the blue tack this time. Then the power supply on. Little green LED comes on on the board. <laughs> Press pins until it starts and then off she goes now this is an amazing feature now the mouse works so I've plugged in this PS2 mouse which works brilliant alright it's loading up a CPU Z so we'll see what happens here
it's obviously much quicker than all the other processors this one yeah, there we go 900 megahertz working excellent right that's it that's all these processors work might try overclocking them a bit now right then as you can see uh, I've run SuperPi 1M at 990 megahertz which is the highest angle on the base clock these 900 megahertz CPUs all have uh, locked multipliers so I'm going to try and do a mod to hopefully unlock them which is why I bought three so I can go wrong twice at least um, but the problem currently is finding the guide to actually do it so all the links are dead as these are quite old CPUs so I'll have to find a guide on how to do that so this is the time that I managed to get out of it, 2 minutes 12 not amazingly fast but mm, it'll do yeah. so hopefully these CPUs will all get over well over a gigahertz once they're unlocked if I can unlock the multiplier and yeah that's about it really see ya gonna die of old age here it's building the suspense